I believe in artfulness and grace. I mean, what isn't art? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a black woman. Have you ever seen a black woman do anything? It's art. I like to say that I'm a curator of experience and that I really think a lot more about environments than objects. I want to make sure that the rooms that I'm in are as diverse as possible. I want to make sure that the exhibitions that I attend are as diverse as possible. The portfolio of institutions that I support are as diverse as possible. It really is about making sure that there's an experience, a community, um, a momentum that's created if, if I'm doing something. I grew up around art, but I never really thought about it as a professional option for me. But it was interning at the Studio Museum in Harlem that I became aware of how vast the museum world can be, and that vastness could provide an opportunity for someone like myself. And when I got back to college, I immediately switched to art history because it was kind of this awakening moment for me to understand, like, this is an industry that I want to be in. In the first semester, was so excited to know that I was kind of like on this life path, but I wasn't seeing the artist that got me into it in the first place. Like any true millennial, I went into social media digging for something that could activate me in the same way that the Studio Museum had. When I didn't find it, I started a blog called Black Contemporary Art. On Black Contemporary Art, I work alongside several editors to put out as much art by black artists as possible. Like, it's a very simple mission. It started with really five posts that I posted, um, but when I was really starting to blog, I didn't know much. And so being able to grow along with them and inform my, my, my practice as, as a researcher, as an art historian, and then also to see them grow and ebb and flow and have babies, and it just became so much deeper than a blog. Because it is an industry that is opaque, and intimidating and exclusionary. It's really important for, for me personally to make sure that people know that there's just so many points of entry. There's lawyers, there's registrars, there's conservators, there's guards, and it's so cool to know all of them and I feel responsibility to share them. But when it comes to being a part of the art world, really, like that first post inserted me into the art world, like immediately. The way that social media, it like thrust up against and is in this bump and grind with art. It affords so many of us who otherwise would be silenced opportunities to have a voice, to join a chorus as well. You have black artists who are starting their own organizations. You have black artists working at the intersection of art and social justice. You have black artists who are on a traditional like white chip gallery path. But what I would say that I see more and more of is just like, more examples. Right, more opportunities, the proliferation into pop culture again. Because it's not just about the galleries, it's not just about the museums or just the studios. It really is about the proliferation. Then people understand that art, and specifically black art and black culture, are just a part of everyday life. It's not just for the privilege, it's not just for people who just have an art history degree, it's, it's very much all of ours. I have been a witness to so much evolution, but there has been so many ways that I've seen in my short time change happen, and then also, of course, arriving and surprising people in rooms. You know, other black people in rooms, other women in rooms. They're like, wow, it's so nice to see you here. I think it creates a spark in you. In my lifetime, I've had people that I'm deeply inspired by and 100% want to be. I have people who I absolutely hate, equally <laughs> inspiring. You know, because I'm like, I'm tired of seeing you do it this way. It inspires me to continue to go. I think for myself, I represent so many identities and I advocate for them all full stop. I am a black woman, first and foremost. It's my favorite one of my identities. It's the one I feel most honored to wear every day. I am a nerd. I am queer. But I also try my very best to make sure that I'm advocating for everyone so that everyone understands that their perspectives matter. I, in my time, have been extended and afforded the opportunity to be all those things by a matrix of people. And so I take it upon myself to make sure that other people in their own respective identities have those same opportunities at every turn possible.